Um, next up, and most importantly, let's talk about Charity season, her upcoming Bachelorette season, hearing JoJo Fletcher's and Jordan's Jordan Roger, her husband and winner of her season. They were doing a press tour <laughs> because of their new show, The Big D, mm -hmm. and obviously Charity came up in conversation. And she says that JoJo says that Charity is porn. So JoJo and Jordan were able to spend time with Charity because they actually um, hosted a group date earlier on in the season. And she says, from what I know, her top couple of guys, I think she was really torn between. But there was a lot left to go, so I'm curious to see how that plays out. Um, what are your thoughts when she says that? Oh, like, what are you thinking for charity season? That is some tea, for sure. Right? I mean, my first thought is that, well, one, I'm happy that JoJo and Jordan are going to make an appearance. I kind of missed them. I feel like they haven't been on in a while, in a few seasons. So happy that they're back. Um, and yeah, honestly, from some of the promos I've seen from going through the cast, there are, there are like a handful of guys that really stand out. And I'm like, I don't know who is going to kind of can't catch a vibe yet. Of course it hasn't started, but for some reason that tracks for me, that charity w might have a hard time because the, the few that I think she's really going to like from what I can tell, it's like feels like it's going to be neck and neck. I don't know why that was kind of my my instinct, actually. So it's it's interesting to hear that they did feel that she was, in fact, porn. And I also think yeah. that that is usually what makes a season interesting. If it's too easy, like, it's boring. Like, the ending is boring when we're just like, they're going to pick I Michelle. completely agree. I mean, Michelle's going to pick Nate. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it was it was close with Brandon, but it was like we kind of knew she was, gonna pick. you know what I mean? So it ends up. Yeah, being I like, would say the yeah. same thing with Zach and Katie season, even like Nick, um, yeah. Nick Fiel and Vanessa. That was an obvious one. So I definitely mm. agree with you. Yeah. Having that kind of like who is she going to pick adds so much to a season. And I think I'm reading the same yeah. thing as you is like with Charity, I could I could see her being because she's such a she seems like she has such a big heart. So loving and is just so emotionally in tune with herself. I think she would be able to potentially fall in love with more than one guy. And um, I do I think, think so that's too. possible for the end of her season. And so it'll be really interesting who those guys are. And we have like for the like first time that I can remember, we've been seeing little clips on the mm -hmm. Bachelorette social media showcasing individual guys and their yes. journey and their backstory. And I found that really interesting. And I have to say the mm -hmm. person who stood out most. Uh, they all they all seemed like really good guys, but Joey specifically yeah. was like, um, he's cute. Mm -hmm. I love the curly hair. I love the chemistry I see mm -hmm. so far. I love the tennis, whether it's a tennis yeah. date or he's an actual tennis player, giving Jason Alabaster vibes. Um, I really liked oh, him. What were you thinking of these me? kind of new clips? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So loved all these clips um it is interesting the way they've been promoting the season is a little more social when it comes to footage like actual promo video it's more like socials forward than like we're actually getting full like a tease a trailer of the season and such mm -hmm. but anyway um i've enjoyed it though because we are getting glimpses and yeah joey the thing about charity there was a video where charity shared like kind of just some either ors or whatever. I don't know if you saw that video on their Twitter, but she kept kind of leaning towards stuff like was it was like, oh, life of the party or like quiet and confident. And she would say quiet and confident or she would say like, like intimate conversation over like something, you know, something else like yeah. wild. So I feel like the kind of guys she likes are those quiet, confident kind of types that are just... Like, I love that. So Joey stood out to me because he was giving me that vibe. Um, guys like Josh surprised me. Um, and you guys can go on their Twitter and see these videos yourselves of the guys we're referencing. But Josh surprised me because his photo on the cast didn't really translate to, like, the vibes that I got from the video clip. And, um, yeah, honestly, all the guys, guys we saw were just, like, really just seemed like charming and nice and sweet and she seemed like she had 
some little connections with a good bit of them. But I will say Joey definitely stood out to me as well. I, I saw the three already. This was giving. Same. And, um, <laughs> and I'm kind of curious, yeah. like, what, like, choosing, mm-hmm. there's only three guys so far that they've done this kind of deep dive post of what exactly it means mm-hmm. for those guys. Does it mean that we're going to see them pretty far? I mean, it seems like they're wanting us to invest in these guys. So, I mean, is this already mm-hmm. a Bachelor campaign? Like, it's just kind of interesting to, once we watch the season play out, why they chose the people they did, you know? Um, and I have it's to mention true. Xavier, too, who we also, they also did a oh post about. And he seemed adorable. Yes. And not only, like, hot, obviously, so you know, cute. all these guys are hot who go on The Bachelor. But he just seemed, like, almost, like, <laughs> nerdy, but in, like, the cutest way possible. Yeah. Like, saying stuff about science. Like, that's actually my husband. He's, like, a chemist. So maybe that's my vibe. Oh, um, but I was cool. like, oh, my God, you're that. adorable. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so oh God, I really no, like yeah. Xavier, too. Completely. And I actually think just Same. from the photos, it was Xavier who I chose for her final pick, which I don't know why it, wow, that happened to be the really? person they do a video about. But Xavier, I, I believe, if I remember correctly, was one of my top. That's a good sign. Yeah. So Xavier was in my top as well as Joey. Um, and just, yeah, it's it's just interesting. I think the what does it mean for some of these guys getting spotlights and, and the guys that aren't, it's hard because of, again, the way that they're doing this press is odd that like we we're 10 days away and we have not had a full season trailer, at least a minute long, like promo of what we're going to be getting um, in the first half of the season, night one, at least of just, you know, a full feel of, who are the front kind of like front running guys, like some limo entrances or like maybe even a hint of like some villain. We've got we we have like a little version of that, like one clip of that that they posted on Twitter, but it was like 30 seconds. Like it wasn't a full trailer yet. And so, mm-hmm. I mean, who knows? I think we could we could get that very soon, maybe this weekend, the, you know, Monday before. Um. But yeah, it it kind of is like, what's the tactic there? Is it to draw more attention to night one so that you have to watch the first episode to really get a good sense of the cast of guys, the group date, like group dates we're getting, just all of that? Or is it because Bachelor is kind of, I don't know. I feel like they should be pushing a little bit harder, especially with the time change. It's kind of making me a little nervous. Mm. Um, they're seeming to lean heavy into like stream on Hulu, stream on Hulu, and they're posting. And so I don't know. I'm starting to bleed into like, you know, just the Bachelor kind of streaming and ratings and views of it all. But um, it is hard to kind of get a good grasp. Although there are some exciting tidbits we're getting. but Yeah, I think personally the marketing for me, I see in a hopeful way of they are doing things different, which, you know, we've been seeing, saying here mm. at Shared News and, you know, it's very common that people are like, you know, Bachelor needs to kind of jumpstart a little bit. We've got to we've got to show something different, move with the times of some of these other really successful reality shows. And maybe they're doing that and focusing on streaming, focusing on social you know, because that is really how people watch TV now, how people find things to watch. Um, so I definitely yeah. think these little tiny teasers is maybe more beneficial to them than like just throwing it mm-hmm. all out there. Um, but who knows? Mm-hmm. I'm One of my favorite parts is at the very end of the first episode. Normally they're like this season on The Bachelorette. That's true. And then you get to see everything. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe they'll yeah. wait for some tidbits there. They always, you know, we can kind of see a I little bit right. more of what the season's going to look like. So, I mean, it's also mm-hmm. of note that they do have an executive producer swap or, I mean, the founder, Mike Fly, Fly Less, something like that, is not there anymore. So maybe that <laughs> is also opening opportunities to do things a little bit differently. And um, I don't know. I just have the highest hopes for this season. And even if they are kind of going about it differently, like good for them. This is what we've been asking for, Mm -hmm. right? Even though maybe it's not exactly what we were thinking. But I'm kind of loving seeing all these little tidbits and getting to know the cast a little bit more. Yeah, I agree. I think you're right about it, too. Like, there's a good point about, you know, at the end of episode one is usually when we get that big, beefy you know, trailer for the entire oh, season it. or kind of like the first half of the season. So you're right. I think mm-hmm. that's that's definitely where we'll get get that footage and really get a good sense of 
the whole season, but I'm still excited, like you were saying. And, you know, she still had her billboard in, you know, Times Square and all of that. So I Charity's that still her. getting the full Bachelorette mm-hmm. press. But, um, mm-hmm. yeah, I agree. They're doing things different. And it does feel like the little spotlight videos do feel very relatable and, like, you feel like you're already connected cast the guys so that's cool yeah and then I think another interesting thing is we've seen like a decline in the followers of leads in the past so I'm hoping maybe this new kind of social mm-hmm. media first strategy could get charity more followers I would love that for her I'm her biggest mm-hmm. fan so we've got 10 days <laughs> and you know I'm sure we're going to be getting little tidbits of information up until then but you know share news is going to be all over it And that is all we have to share today. Let us know in the comments what you think about charity season, any predictions. And also before you go, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications so you'll be the very first to see all of our pop culture updates. Again, I'm Kayla Galloway with the lovely Kayla Thompson. Our handles are going to be right on the screen. So give us a follow, say hi, and we'll see you next time.